so you've heard of Valentine's Day, but more than ever this year, celebrating friendship is key. Joining us now to share some ideas on how to celebrate Valentine's Day is lifestyle specialist Christian Dare. Good morning to you, Christian. Good morning, Rosie. I wish I was there to celebrate Palantines with you and share some gifts with my pal Rosie. But we'll do it this way virtually, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what we have to do. So we're, we're starting off. We've got, you know, we've got Valentine's Day around the corner, Palantines Day as well. And we're talking about celebrating. If we can't be with our friends, we got to do it virtually, right? We got to make the best out of a not so great situation. Exactly. It's perfect to do it virtually, and my first idea is a great virtual idea. So I think whenever we talk about Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day, we think of chocolate. And the chocolate I always give my BFFs is Green and Black's chocolate. Now, if you're not familiar with the brand, it's actually the premier fair trade and organic chocolate company around the world. Amazing, different flavors. It's gorgeous. It tastes amazing. But why not put it together with some wines or some virtual wine pairings with your friends? I mean, how do you go wrong with wine and chocolate, am I right? <laughs> so my two favorites that I would recommend to you is, the first one is the Organics Green and Black White Chocolate. Pairs beautifully mm -hmm. with this La Crema Pinot Noir. It's got beautiful red berries, available at the LCBO, ripe plums. The white chocolate and the red Pinot, delicious. The other great one I love, especially if you're a cat so fan, is actually the Green and Black Dark Chocolate with Toffee. Toffee. Mm. Uh, with the Cabernet Sauvignon from Kendall Jackson Vintners Reserve. It's a full body red, lush, vanilla, LCBO also, red wine. So it's like the toffee, the dark chocolate, the red wine. Everyone's going to be happy, Rosie. So I would say, Christian, you know, when you are, you've got your uh, red wine, your glass of red wine, the best thing is just to raise it. Don't clink the glass on the screen, right? Correct. <laughs> Don't do that. We're not in person anymore. And then next for any of your gal pals, or actually, I say, for anyone who loves great skincare, because I'll be honest, I use this stuff. Okay. Um, it's a great combination from Olay. It's called the Red Jar Collection. It's great, powerful skincare. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's supple. It improves your skin. reduces fine lines and wrinkles. And what I love about the Red Jar Collection is they've got a formulation for every skin need, from micro sculpting cream to a whip to their newest, which is the Ultra Rich. So Ultra Rich Regenerous. It's rich. It's moisturizing, it's not greasy, it's amazing for that sort of winter dry skin. Your friend's skin will glow, and I say pick up a jar so your skin glows also. Yeah, and we need moisturizing creams. It's so dry in the winter. You've got something for the gents as well? Yes, for the gents on your list, for the well-groomed gents, I'm gonna suggest this great Philips S9000 Prestige Shaver. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna give this to myself because I believe we're all our own best friends. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> So it's like the S9000 Shaver from Philips. It's the most innovative one to date. It gives you an exceptional clean, close shave for a razor, for a shaver with sensitive skin, even on a seven day beard. So if you've been skipping shaving every day because of no Zoom calls, this guy will still give you a great clean, close shave. The other thing I love about it is it's got a wireless charging pad. So you just stick it on there and the S9000 Shaver will charge on its own. It's amazing. Okay, and now we're sharing cocktails with our Palantines. Yes, exactly, cocktails. I think we're all a little bit sad that our favorite sort of local bars aren't open, mm -hmm. but we still want to celebrate with our friends. So why not just schedule one? Book a time, book a date, give each other a call or a FaceTime. And I say drop off a basket of your favorite goodies to make some great St. Remy signature cocktails. Mm. So if you don't know St. Remy, it's this amazing French brandy company. Their latest release is called the St. Saint, Saint Remy Signature. It's double barrel. It's got subtle notes of butter and honey and vanilla and candy fruit. It's gorgeous. 4250 at LCBO. And then I made this little cocktail this morning that I wish I could share with you, but it's called a French Metropolitan. It's just two ounces of St. Remy, one ounce of sweet vermouth, some Angostura bitters, and a cherry on top. It's delicious. Ooh. Wow, what a cocktail. Something that I love, you're talking about afternoon tea. Why not schedule that with a pal? Exactly. So as I was going to say, if cocktails aren't your cup of tea, let's have a cup of tea, Rosie. <laughs> so this is actually from a company called Cup of Tea, which is kind of funny. Um, it's a Canadian female black-owned business based here right in Ontario, so it's great to support your locals. They've got an amazing array of loose organic teas and teaware. And then this, I also love about it, it's approved by Oprah. So this Ooh. is what Oprah gives her besties. 
So I don't know about you, but if it's good enough for Oprah and Gail, it's good enough for me and my pals. Oh, absolutely. If Oprah <laughs> likes it, hello. And I love it because it's Canadian made. Cup of tea, right? Cup of tea, amazing, yeah. Black oh. female owned business based on child. That is so great. You got so many great ideas for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be uh, hitting you up and doing a couple of these with my pals, especially the cocktail <laughs> and the tea time. Christian Dare, thank you so much. Your lifestyle you, specialist is showing us how to enjoy ourselves. You have a great day. Bye.